They're always watching for me until it's time to come out. Always are. Yeah, they always are. Oh boy, we're going this way today. That's different. They've lost their way in. <laughs> That's funny. Where are we going? Where are we going? Ah. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, good morning, Sassy. Good morning, baby girl. How's my beautiful girl? Huh? I think I might get some more of you from Hoover's Hatchery. You're too beautiful not to have more. You're such a sweet girl. Such a sweet girl. Look how pretty you are. Oh yeah. You want some of that sunshine. You want to lay down and absorb it, don't you? Hi, Crip. My poor little cripple girl. She sure is making it good to be to have had a broken leg ever since she was little. She sure is a good little girl. There's my Jersey Giants. Oh gosh, I just love these girls so much. Just love them so much. My Brahmas. I think, I think my Brahmas are probably the most stunning in the sunlight. My Americana Roo. Yeah, I put their. Put all of their scratch in the, in the fence line and give them something to do. Ooh, Renfro's getting chased around. <laughs> well, this is Friday and it's going to be a beautiful day. We have blue sky. Isn't that just magnificent? That is magnificent. One lone airplane in the sky. What are you doing, baby girl? Huh? What are you doing, darling? Huh? Hey, Renfro. What are you doing? There's old Renfro. Told her what to do. They get out of my space. <laughs> Remember, she said, "Leave her alone." Is what she said. <laughs> There's a little hawk. I think I'm gonna get some more of her too. She's six years old. I got to replace her. I know it's going to be tough, but I need, I have to have another hawk. I just have to. She's been the most precious thing I think I've ever had. Well, besides Pearl. Pearl is precious, too. Look at these girls working this fence line. Isn't that funny? Yep. All the way down. They, they know where the candy is. getting about two dozen eggs a day now so eh, sometimes only an 18 pack but mostly two dozen eggs and you know I've, I've decided that I don't think my chicken feed's doing anything bad I just didn't get any any new uh, chickens last spring and when you get chickens in the spring like say 10 or 15 and then you uh, you don't get eggs from them for five months so say you get them in April that's April, May, June, July, August is when they start laying. They would lay during the winter. That's why my eggs are not um, as many as normal is because I just don't, um, just don't, I, I didn't get any new layers. Last year they sat, but the ones that they sat on either broke or they turned out to be males, which was not a good thing for me. Not a good thing for them either, because the girls don't like it when there's too many males. They just, 
ride them to death. Ground's frozen still, so there's not really a whole lot you can do out here. I guess uh, I guess I'm going to be working in the house a lot today since this is Friday and I don't work on Saturday at all. Get as much done today as I can so I can rest tomorrow, even though I don't know what happens, but you know how it is whenever you really want to sleep and you can't. And you're not tired. You're not tired, and you're not you're not worried, and you're not stressed. You just your body just cannot lay down. Well, that's what happened to me last night, and I uh, didn't go to sleep till about three thirty or so, and then it just makes your whole next day all groggy, and you're thinking, oh no, am I going to do that tonight? <laughs> but hopefully, I'm not. Hopefully, I'm not. I don't know. I went ahead and broke the ice for them before they got out so that they could come on over here and get water. Now this one over here, I didn't break the ice yesterday and it's, they might be able to get around the edges, but I tried to break the ice this morning and it's just too deep. I should have got that ice off. If I would have got that ice off, it would be a lot better today. It'd be like this one. It just had a little bit of frozen at the top, whereas that was already frozen, so it just froze more. Made it easier to freeze up all the way around. But it's supposed to be in the 60s now for a few days after today or tomorrow. I can't remember. I think today's supposed to get up to 45 Fahrenheit and then uh, be in the 60s next week or this week. Let's see, this is uh, Friday. So, yeah, next week it'll be in the 60s early, early next week. So that'll be good. Good for me. It won't be probably won't be good for my garden because all these bugs are gonna, not going to be killed off. Looky here. They love that sunshine, don't they? They've already got that stuff out of the fence row that they want and now they're just wanting to preen themselves and relax. And that's exactly what they should be doing today. It's just too cold to get out there. They can't do anything anyway. There's no bugs to get. They can't scratch anything. See, everything's frozen so this is their time to heal and relax and rest and do what they're supposed to do just like us but we've got so many we've got so many artificial things like artificial light and artificial heat and artificial water well not water you know just stuff like that to where we can just keep going artificial transportation you know we're not walking we're we're riding so we have gotten it to where we don't even get to break in the winter. We work as hard in the winter as we do in the summer. And that just that just makes our bodies, by the time we get to retirement, we're just exhausted. I can tell you that for a fact. Look at here. I don't know. I think kazoo is a good name for him because really, he really does sound like a kazoo. When I was a little kid, we had a comb and a, and a piece of paper, and, and we made that kazoo sound on our own. I think it was wax paper we used, and it sounded like a kazoo, and, uh, <laughs> and that's exactly what he sounds like. I think he's a he. I'm not real sure, but I think he is. What are you girls doing? These are my Jersey Giants and my Brahmas. One sapphire gem. Boy, they are enjoying that sun. Look how their, their feathers just glow. Look at that. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. That sounds content, doesn't it? The hawk's over here checking out my pants. Hawk likes to come check my pants out. She's the most precious thing. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all.
I went through the notifications yesterday that I had of people who had subscribed to my channel and subscribed to theirs if they had content or, or subscribers of their own. So, um, if you want me to subscribe to your channel, put it in the comments that you've that you subscribe to me and you want me to subscribe to you and I'll follow you over there and subscribe to you. We all need a little bit of help and I know that um, I've been doing pretty good lately. I'm still not to 500. I'm, I'm working on 500 pretty hard and then I still have 500 more. I don't know why I'm, I'm so anxious about 500 because that's just halfway. It's not even all the way to a thousand, but I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. It's all in God's hands. Boy, look at them. Don't they look like they are just enjoying their day? Look at that. Now, the ones in the barn is not enjoying their day. They're, they're doing their duty. And if you had a baby every day, you'd be doing that screaming thing, too. Trying to give you guys some time without my voice. That you could just see the... The animals and hear them and oh my gosh look how pretty they are. Get my shadow out of the way. Look at this. Oh they just warm my heart. There's sassy, there's Hall. Me through girls. Me through. What do you girls want to do today? Oh yeah, I gave her those for grains yesterday. Ooh, I bet I left that on last night. The two girls had lights on all night last night. That's why you're so tired. But I had keeper grains yesterday and I put them in their in their pumpkins. And then this one I put water in when it got done. When they got done with it. They ate those like crazy. That's gotta be so healthy for them. And it looks like the ducks are all happy today, and you can see their eggs down in there, and looks like she's got one, two, three, four, five, six that I can see. And they say they get about 18 before they start actually sitting. And old Rue, look at him. He can't go outside anymore. They just beat him up too bad. So the one little bit of light inside that he can get where he can still sit alone. Are you, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Huh? No? He'll find it and he'll sit in it until somebody comes and bugs him. We've got a, another egg out here where somebody's not knowing where they're supposed to lay. There's several of them because it's never the same color egg. I'll just put it in here with this one. We've got two there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten right there. We're on our way to a dozen. We've got one girl over here that's laying. There's one, yeah. Go ahead and pick that up. Because when I, when I feed them, back up. Back up. Back up. When I feed them, they'll, uh, they'll cover that thing up. I won't be able to find it. Move back. Come on. Move back. Let me have your egg. Thank you. Oh, looks like there's another one over there. I thought there was two of them laying. I put one of them in. Another one of the white girls in there yesterday because she was being mean to the others. Hogging the... Hogging the nest box. So I've got this little... This right here is a snake getter. So if you get a snake, you can just do that and, and grab it and take it away. And hopefully it won't bite you. I've been watching videos about how to do that, so... But I haven't had any snakes for a while, so I'm probably not going to have to worry about it too much. Let's see if I can do this. Here. It's also an egg getter. It's an egg getter more than it's a snake getter. Back up. Because I've not used it for an egg, I mean for a snake, but I've used it for an egg. I know a lot of countries have a lot of problems with snakes in there. In their, uh, in their nest boxes. Okay. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. That's twelve right there. I got a dozen. Yay! 
So it looks like the bunnies are out of food and water again. So that's a, more, a normal morning thing. But look how big they're getting. Look at that. They're going to be two months on February the 11th. So, I mean, look at that. Only two months old and they're almost as big as their mama. Oh, kissy, kissy. Kissy face mama. You know, people aren't really that interested in rabbits. Whenever I put rabbits on my, uh, on my, on my YouTube, um, description thing, nobody really wants to look at it. If they put chickens there, they do. I guess people like chickens a lot more than they like rabbits. They don't really like ducks that much either, but these two are just the sweetest ducks I think I've ever seen. They're, you know, they're half duck and half goose. They don't make any goose noise. They don't make any duck noise. They whisper. Listen to it. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, Jesus? That's the only noise they make. Are you hungry, Hazel? Huh? You hungry? You got some baby, babies over there, huh? You gonna be sitting on them before long? Yeah. They need a bath. They need their own space. That's why I'm trying to get monetized so I can get some money together and give them a home. They need a home. They need an outside home so that they can splash water. That's what they need. Not in here on this concrete with, with a straw on top. It just breaks my heart not to be able to, to help them out. But, you know, things have their priorities and that's just one thing that I've just got to work on. It's a priority, but it's not a feasible priority just yet. And opening these up, you can hop up here and scratch around like they always do. That's what they do most. There. Got, the, got those doors open so that it won't close back on them. Yeah, and this is their, this is their water that's um, warm that warm enough to where it won't freeze so they haven't even touched that today oh looky there one two three four five six right there yay yay maybe they're going to start laying again wouldn't that be wonderful wonder if those kefir grains had anything to do with it i gave that to them yesterday and and uh now look Oh, looky here. Here's four more. Open this up. And open this up. And I've got one on this nest. And I've got one on this nest. But I don't see any more. No more eggs. Just two more hens sitting on a nest. So, wow, that's wonderful. What you got there, baby girl? You sitting on anything? You just trying to lay up an egg? No, you didn't have anything. You're probably trying to hide from them old roosters, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, well, you're a good girl. You're a pretty girl. You sure are. So many pretty girls. Looky there. You guys, I put you full yesterday. Thinking you have ate it all. Here you go. Here you some more. My mister's getting him some water. Old Drew. I call him old Drew. The white ones are really, really um, curious. And they're always right in the very beginning. Them and the, and the gray ones, the, the sapphire gems and the sapphire splashes. That's, that's those two breeds. And they are curious. But if you bring anything out, they're right first right there to see what it is that you got. These two, these two are about, uh, this one's still half full. This one's about a uh, quarter full, I guess. And they're going, Mama, we're hungry. Will you shut up and feed us, please? Okay, well, I might come back on here in a little bit, but I don't know. 